Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to show you how you could run your local LLMs with VS Code. So this is actually very important because, for example, if you want to work offline or you're working in a company where privacy is required and you don't actually need to kind of like use like uh, public uh, LLMs, you want to like use something local on your PC. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to come here and download it. So you need to download based on your operating system. So if you're using Windows subsystem for Linux, even on Windows, you could go for this Linux. It gives you this uh, install.sh file that you're going to be installing. Or if you're using Mac OS, you also have something for you. So because I'm using Windows, so it kind of gives you this uh, executable here where you're going to install. So you just click here to download it. So you see here, it downloads it. I already have it downloaded. So how you know you have it downloaded is just to come on your terminal, so just like this. So you just need to come on your terminal. So let me open a new terminal. And then all you need to do is just type Olama. And when you do Olama, for example, it will ask you if you have a model that you want to run, for example, like the Queen 2.5 Coda. So how you actually know this, uh, the, the model you need to run, for example, is to come here. And then when you come here at the Olama website, you need to come to browse. So you come to these models here. And then you're going to see like a list of models. For example, here we could decide to take Llama 3.2. This is actually uh, a newly released model. I actually made a video on this. So Llama 3.2. And then within this Llama 3.2, you need to specify the, the version you want to run. For example, if you have like a system that is extremely very slow, the 1 billion will be very perfect for you to run, but also the 3 billion is also as small as well. But they are text-based models. They are not particularly optimized for I'm not really sure whether they are optimized for coding, but they are like the going to be. Uh, this model I just showed you about here is actually does well for coding and it's just 1.5 billion. So let's download the Llama 3.2. So I'm just going to get it here. So watch, it's actually different. The URL is actually different when you choose the 3 billion and when you choose the 1 billion. So I'm just going to get this 1 billion because it's pretty small and will perform very well on CPU. So I'm just going to get this one here. And all I need to do is just paste it here. So I just need to remove the first llama. And then this is going to pull the model to my system. So the model is going to be downloaded to my machine. So we've uh, downloaded the extension. So we're going to be going to our local AI pilot. You're going to see that uh, the model is already showing up here. So you can see here, llama 3.21 billion. So we already have it here. So this local AI pilot can allow you to kind of like chart, uh, do code completion, and you also be able to like, it has this rack mode where you could ingest a doc document and chat with your documents. I think, uh, so there's another one here called code LLM. So he, this one also, you could chat with uh, the particular model. So you could choose it here. So you could choose like the Lama 2, 3.21 billion that I just downloaded. And it also have like pre-made uh, prompts here that you could use, or you could just go ahead and just start chatting with the model. So for example, we could just ask for Python PyTest example. And let's see what uh, will be generated by Llama 3.21b. So you could see here that it's already generating. It's pretty fast as compared to other large language models that will have like a bigger parameter rating. So you could see here that it's pretty creating the functions and generating the methods so quickly as well. So you could see it here. So it looks like the Pythos example has uh, successfully completed. So you could see everything here. So the other one here is uh, the code LLM, which we just saw. So occasionally I also use Codium as well. So, but this one is not like hosted on your machine. So, and it has a pro version in which you have to pay. And also the other one in which I showed you, which is this black box AI. So, if you want to try out these stuffs, uh, you could get them installed and play around with them, the code uh, LLM and the local AI pilot. And then with your Lalama models that you're going to be downloading, I think it will really greatly help you, particularly when you want to like run things locally for privacy situations. So thank you. And uh, please try and subscribe to my channel to support me to keep bringing contents like this.